Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ here with my bros, Jeremy and Bears. Hi. What's going on? Bringing you another weekly recap of this week's The Flash. Tonight's episode was called Guerrilla Warfare. Roll the clip. Barry manages to recover following the fight with Zoom, but is unable to use his powers due to the severe psychological trauma of Zoom's showing him off to the city. Iris reaches out to his dad, who comes back to help Barry overcome his fears. Cisco goes on a date with Kendra, but leaves after seeing a winged man in one of his visions. Grodd returns and uses his telepathic abilities on scientists to steal chemicals in hopes of creating more gorillas like himself. He kidnaps Caitlyn to help him with his plan. The team decides to dress Wells up as the Reverse Flash in order to trick Grodd into thinking that he is his father. The plan works, but not before Wells is injured. They're able to knock out Grodd. Barry finally recovers, and they lure Grodd into one of the singularities. Barry unleashes his infinite mass punch to put him through the breach. Patty and Barry, still adorable. I hope they go to distance. Everybody says bye to Henry Allen. Joe feels a little bad about being the number two dad. Cisco meets with Kendra again, and after he kisses her, he has another vibe revealing her to be hot girl. This is so awesome. Wells decides to stay with the team to stop Zoom. Grodd comes through the other side of the singularity and is shown to be on Gorilla Island. <laughs> God, that was really bad. Boom. That was great. So, anybody want to run this down real quick? Like, very, like, in one sentence. Gorilla Grodd is here and Papa Flash is his savior. Yes. That made no sense. Wait, <laughs> so, Barry has no legs. He healed up pretty quickly. A lot faster than I thought he would have, yeah. right? and he's training, but the only thing that's holding him back from fully recovering is the fact that he got his ass handed to him by Zoom. So he's kind of like, well, how would you guys feel about that? How, how would you guys- Handed to me by Zoom? Yeah, and then like, you know, you, you have your, uh, like, you're slowly getting your abilities and healing and you, you're you able to get back to where you were, but in the way that hit, um, Barry handled it, how would you have handled it differently? Well, you gotta look at it this way. Okay. Zoom knew exactly what to do to Barry to break him yeah including parading his body around everywhere and so it, it, it was like a direct blow against barry yeah because that's kind of hard to dandy. yeah wait what no i still think it's barry <laughs> who knows barry better than barry true his daddy <laughs> I'm just kidding so in order for him that like we see him sort of like using his speed but then he kind of like pulls back and yeah. is just like all like emo berry then dad comes through because of iris iris how, how do you guys feel about her two thumbs up because she she feels his pain and she tries to do as much as she could this episode to make him feel better now uh uh, Bears, did, do you have any bone to pick with her? I cannot remember her talking, so it was a good performance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that was really nice that she brought her dad, or his dad. Yeah, despite her, I mean, despite him, like, kind of rejecting her. Uh, then we got the, the feels with Joe. Joe was trying to get through to him. He couldn't get through. And Kate, okay, now we, we'll talk about the big-ass monkey coming back into the scene. Big gorilla in the room there? Yes, yes, the big gorilla in the room. I fell for the monkey. How do you guys feel about him? I just see why he's going bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Damn me, I can't keep up. Like, I, I don't have anything. Yeah, no, he's he's troubled and he has no father. Yes, he Wells lost his daddy. Is, yeah, Wells is dead. And the closest thing he could find to someone, like, helping him was Caitlyn. Yeah. And he was like, you're, you're nice to me. Like, I like that he's able to, like, communicate so fluently now. Like, before it was more, like, scattered. Now it's all, like, four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. He doesn't have time to be monkeying around. I'm not laughing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, that was pretty cool. That, that confused me just a little bit. Uh, up until, like, I realized that the episode was for him. Or, like, right when the, the guy at the lab, that random dude, started walking everywhere. I'm like, oh, shoot. Like, he's actually using his telepathic abilities to... Yeah. Like, imagine the range he's got now. Yeah. He was able to get that guy out. And poor dude. Seriously. He didn't know what he was doing. He just gets whacked into... Yeah like 20 feet into the air hitting his head on that thing it's messed up yeah so he does the same thing to caitlin and i i gotta say like that whole 
like part where she like hit Cisco just like had me really like laughing really hard. I don't know why. Timmy. What's wrong with yeah. you? I don't, like he's just walking out in broad daylight. <laughs> yeah. As big as he is, he's, he's a just, massive ass gorilla. Just walking around. No well, let's let's uh let's review here. Yeah. You saw a fifteen hundred pound gorilla walking yeah. down the street. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? I am going to run and call the cops. I would just walk the other way, reevaluate my life choices. <laughs> <laughs> what did I have to eat today? So yeah, his dad comes back, tries to get him back into that, that focus of things. Um, Patty doesn't know exactly what's going on. But Gosh, she's got to know, man. Cookie. She has to know. Yeah, she's too smart of a cookie to know that that stuff is not I happening. feel like it's going to be one of those things, like, where might you have a love... Yeah, you have a loved one, and then, mm -hmm. like, you can't tell them your secret, and then it just, like, tears you apart. She's got to know by now. I felt like she already has it in the back of her mind, but I think it's going to, like... Like Jeremy said, I think it might tear them apart for a little bit after she figures out without him telling her. You know what I'm saying? I think like she wants to hear it from his mom yeah, saying, exactly. like, I'm the Flash. Because something as little as that chicken soup thing, she she picked up on that. Yeah. He's like, oh, I just like the canned stuff anyways. And then Joe's like, I'm about to bring him some homemade soup. And I was like, oh, she... God damn it, Barry. Yeah, I know. He's so dumb. Then we were... Wells kind of, like, steps up to the plate a little bit more of this episode. That, that part was pretty, like, intense back when he got his uh, super speed triggered back. When Wells was dressed up as the reverse Flash. Yeah. And then he just bodied Anger. her. Is anger that caused him to? It was like his motivation to like get it back. But yeah, it's it's kind of it was pretty crazy seeing him dress up as the Reverse Flash again, but not as the Reverse Flash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how did they have the extra? Uh, actually, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Didn't he say it was in the ring? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. dude. No, dude. The he... Flash ring. Flash is gonna have it's the. It's alive. And uh, all the while, Cisco is trying to like make all these innuendos, you know, going out with Kendra. <laughs> He's like, oh, we're going to have a boo, or we're going to go to a movie, have dinner, and then <laughs> breakfast. <running> <laughs> He's like, why do you need breakfast? <laughs> and he had to like explain it, and he was like, no, no, Barry gets it. Go. <laughs> I could have just shot him down like that. <laughs> I know, dude. I like that. Like that. That's probably the weirdest thing. Seeing Vibe and Hawk Girl together, because we all know that she's gonna end up with. Dude, he gets everybody. He's gotten Golden Glider. Mm -hmm. Who else has he, has he gotten? He's gotten Golden Glider. <laughs> no, he's gotten somebody else, hasn't he? Uh, not too sure. Golden Glider, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Uh, let me see. Starts with a G, too. I feel like we oh, just met her. Golden Glider. There you go. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> <laughs> No, he, he got together with somebody else. I know it. I feel it. What's, what's her real name? Uh, Lisa Snart. Or yes, the one. That's, okay. the, that's the other Way to one. play along. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, he, he gets with her, and then he gets the vibe of her being hot girl. Yeah, he thought it was a dude. Yeah, that's it's crazy. They didn't, yeah, he just leaves her. He's so like, oh, any, any contact with other people, he could have a vibe. Yeah. That's crazy. That's just, like, scratching the surface of his abilities, I'm sure. Like, mm -hmm. that we're going to see it, like develop even more later on so gorilla grad takes caitlin and they, they kind of got along for a little bit i love how she's kind of like yo will that set him up a though bit. whole scene would that set up for her becoming something mm -hmm. I, I think that she's going to be killer frost on earth too it all someone else something else oh uh, no <laughs> She's just gonna be like the heart of the team always, cause she she's she she kind of like put them back together this episode and, and kind of made Wells like she think broke about the ice. This, oh, <laughs> they hatch the plan. They they go move forward with it and Wells. Goes yeah, and is Wells. Like, I'm your daddy. Wells had an ape up his sleeve. Get it, ace. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to make it seem like he's like I am your daddy, but yeah. Grodd is way too smart for that. Yeah, and absolutely. Goes ape Wreck shit on him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well said. Well said. Then he gets all creepy. Let's talk about that part real quick. Yep. Well He's like, I promised you that this city would be yours. Like, like, I think that well was just straight playing the part. I think that was like. Uh, that was okay. well. He adapted it pretty well. Yeah. Creepy. Pretty well. Even Caitlyn and Cisco were like, oh, okay. I think he's. I think he. Uh, yeah. Because uh, what's her name? Caitlyn thought that that was actual like Eobard again. 
because yeah. I don't think she, she knew about the plan. And then so, when she winked, he, she was just like, oh, this is the other Welsh. That's so cool, like, how Cisco has, like, he had those uh, in-ears that were, like, they disturbed the frequency so that he couldn't tap in their, to their heads. Yeah, he's smart as freak. He had plenty of time to just shrink down that technology from that ridiculous headset that Barry wore the first time. Oh. I know that's so that's so cool though. He's a man, dude. The yeah. nerds on these shows are like really like the MVPs. No, 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 no. Cisco what? is MVP. Cisco. Win is MVP. Yes. Do not put Felicity on. No, that. no, I didn't say. Okay, her replacement is an MVP. Oh, okay. They get away. They run away, and that was a good plan. Mad creepy, and then he stabs his own son. I know, and he just goes down. He's just like he's. Ah! Just up. he's like, oh. So they bring him back to the lab, and they try to think of a plan, and 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 Barry and his dad. Okay, any moment with the two, it's like you just want to cry. I don't want to cry. I, I, I mean, wanna, I should. I want to. I don't. I wanna though. I want to, and I sometimes do. But that should have happened. Like I should be caring more. I look at it this way. Yeah. Barry's dad is behind jail for how long? Like what, fifteen years or something? Yeah. So. Yes, it's not his fault, but he wasn't present in Barry's life to give him that fatherly advice or build that rapport. Yes, he is his son, I know this, but he doesn't really have that father-son relationship that allows him to just go in and be like, Barry, all that stuff that Joe just said, I'm gonna say to you again. Yeah, but it's his daddy. It's but his it, daddy. Joe is just as much as his dad. No, he, he is. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just like not credit Joe for that, but I just, there's just this thing about him and Henry. When they share those, maybe it's because it's so like it's like it's seldom, like it's very like sporadic when they meet. Maybe that's why. No. Joe's still the man. He's still oh, the man. It's not discrediting Joe or like thinking that Joe is a lesser guy. Joe should be more than he is to Barry. Like, yeah, yeah. He raised Barry to adulthood, kept him on the straight and narrow, and he's still second place to his dad, who is behind prison again. Not his fault. But, yeah. Like, come on, man. Joe should have more influence and a bigger role in Barry's life. I think, I, yeah, dude, I think he said exactly that, too. I fell for him, too, at that part. He's just like, yeah, yeah I kind of feel bad that, like, all this stuff, and I'm still number two. Ooh. Like, it was, like, heartbroken. Like, Joe has to watch his, basically, his son yeah. go off with another guy lose his father, and, like, he raised this kid. He grew up, yeah. like, Raised his child. His face when he gave him the uh, like when he asked for the photo, he's like, "Bitch, you don't take my photo." <laughs> but he's just like, "Okay, take it." <laughs> Joe's number one dad. So before we talk about that or, or, or elaborate more on that, they go to confront Grodd again, and I gotta say, for well, it's expected. He's giant, so he he was able to catch up with Barry. But that was pretty cool that he thought of that whole plan of drawing him out to a certain breach. That's cool that uh. What do you call that? Knows which breach to go through. Wells? Yeah. We finally get to see him use that punch that he used on Girder after yeah. the longest time. He's used it a few times. Ever since then? Yeah, he tried to use it on Grad once. Didn't work. Grad I don't know, but this time he connected. He connected on a Ooh. big ass save. He made it all flashy too. Oh. With the flip. Yeah. He needs to like combine it all. It's like a mirage super punch with lightning attack. Yeah. Yo. Oh. That's like a super attack. I'd find that appealing. Yo, that would be sick. Uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, it, it, it's kind of like funny to watch Grodd like kind of get sucked into that thing. His ass was getting like sucked into a toilet. Like he was just like, whoop, I thought Barry was gonna get sucked in. Yeah, I thought for so a second. Too. But yeah, I like that they did the slow mo part so that we could actually catch what he was doing instead of like him just zipping around. Yeah, so so the Flash is back in this episode. I thought he was gonna be out of commission for at least uh, two. Yeah. Oh. What did you guys think? I thought nah. he wouldn't come back for like just this episode. I thought somebody was gonna step in for him yeah. in this episode, but he came back. But yeah, we still don't get to see Jay, the other speedster. I know, that's so weird how he's, he's gone. He's, he's uh, just, he's just crying in his apartment. Yeah. It's good that like, they also like got Wells on board now. Yeah. You're not invited to the Justice League meeting. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna try to show up the next episode and, and do just that. Try to get back into the team, but yeah. Wells is there now. Do you guys think that they should keep the reverse flash outfit there? Yeah, man. Nah, I think so too. Just in case. Piece of history. Yeah, that too. Because like 
a, a, a enemy we have overcame. Bam. I don't know what it is, but his suit looks so much cooler than Barry's. And then uh, Papa Flash leaves, says goodbye. Barry goes, hit, you know, drops him off. And he talks about Patty. And, oh, Patty. Okay, we gotta talk about her. <laughs> She's uh, she's a keeper. She's certainly a keeper. I she's think so I have it written somewhere. She's still adorable. I can't help but smile every time she like pops up. <laughs> hey, Barry, how you doing? And then she keeps, oh. yeah, she, she like puts up with the lying. Like she still likes him. You see Flash get his ass beat. And yeah. then Barry's next out thing you know, him. Barry's gone. I would, I would start to put something together there. I think she just wants to hear it from him. She's like the type of person, like even with Joe, she's just like, she keeps pressing him about info, but she doesn't like, like lash out and be like, just tell me, God damn it, what's going on? Yeah. He's, she's I think like, it's going to happen now though. I think something's going to happen here. She's eventually going to find out who he is, the Flash. Yeah. But he is not going to tell her directly. Yeah, so he's gonna, she's going to find out some way. And she's going to be super pissed, like, I thought I could trust you. And oh, then you think it's going to be like that? Up. Oh, yeah. yeah, it could happen like that. Yo, uh, so another thing is that it would be really cool, too, because her, her comic book counterpart, actually, like, I, I this is, like, totally off subject a little bit, but she also is tied to uh, super speed. You know why? Because she rides a cosmic motorcycle that goes at super speed. What? The comics. What? What's a yeah. superhero okay. man? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I have no idea why. Okay. I love you. <laughs> Alter Ego. Uh, Miss Flash or Hopper Suit. Hopper Suit. Yo, that's so dope. The super speed through a cosmic motorcycle. So, yeah, they have their moment. They kiss. Yay. Happy time. Happy time. And then we go back to the lab again. Wells tells them, or oh, he sent Grodd off to an island where he will be accepted. And we will talk about that at the end because I'm so excited. Then Cisco goes to meet with Hawk Girl and she's totally, she's with it. Yeah. She's with it. She's down with it. She's with it. And it, like right after he offered her lollipops. Caw! 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 <laughs> yeah, so he kisses her and finds out that she's Hawk Girl or, you know, he's definitely got to name her now because he's the one that found out about her yeah so hopefully nobody else says it before he does and he then sent his heart a flutter oh <laughs> <laughs> and is there like there was there like a creepy scene at the end or anything other than just grod or is that, that that's where we left off that's the very last scene so the very last scene is gorilla grod on gorilla island what a awkward situation oh god <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how do you guys feel about that? Yeah, oh, he's gonna be with his people and then he's gonna create a community. He's gonna come back. He's like, God. He's I love back. how well sent him there specifically. Yeah. So, like, he's gonna create an army. I know, but the question is, did Wells do that, like... On purpose? Like, no, I'm saying, I, we know he, he did it on purpose, but did he do it in a way that was, like... Like, he did it for the greater good of Grodd and everybody else, or did he do it because, like... Do you guys get what I'm saying? Was it a good choice that he did, or, or was it a bad one? What do you guys think? I think, think? it was an accident. Yeah. Was an accident. So he 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 meant to, he meant for it to be a good thing, but it's probably gonna. What's her name? Caitlin's just like he has to go to like a better place, and he's like, yeah, yeah I think I found that. Yeah. And I don't think he knows the what do you call it? Side exists. He's gonna start at the bottom, and uh, soar his way up to the top. Started from <laughs> the bottom, now he's there. So yeah, girl, girl, I. <laughs> Gorilla, Gorilla Island exists in an alternate timeline, and that's yeah. Ridiculous. And that that looked like in uh, Africa. Uh, I thought it was South America. Okay, well, I didn't. I got South it very America. Good. Either yeah. or, they looked similar. And and there's like a giant ape like monument. Or Two like of them, a, one on the left or, and one on the right. So so yeah, that's gonna be crazy. Grodd is eventually hey. gonna be smart enough to recreate a portal to go back and then have all his family. So yeah, Wells tricked up. Accident. What if he's gonna bring his famous recipe? Banana what recipe? Bread. Apple pie. Oh. I was gonna say chocolate chip cookies, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what if Ultra Humanite is there? Remember Ballsack Head? Oh yeah. What if he's cause it's if it's already built there, right? Would it would it have been Earth 2 Grod that got sent there? Or was it, does Grod not exist in Mania? No, ma yeah, he didn't say Grod. He said that he worked with other like or he's seen other gorillas. So maybe like Ultra him. Humanite. Yeah, maybe he's got testy brain there. And then <laughs> they work they work together. Oh, they work together. And he's like, let me share my brain juices with you. Gross. <laughs> I can't quit you out to humanite. <laughs> 
So yeah, then the episode ends there. Did, did I miss anything? Rod driving ultra humanite bananas. Yeah. So the, the previews showed the whole team getting together to stop. He even said it. He said what I've been saying on these on these uh, movie pilot posts like since we started the thing. He said dark times. Damn it, man. That was mine. You missed your chance, man. These things roll by in a flash. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, so he said it. He's like, he's like in these dark times and and vandal savage shows up too yeah oh shoot so forgot about that yeah i think this is what what i think uh i guess that's what's the common theories that we're doing now i think that damien dark if he's not already like like in my head in the perfect tv world it would be damien creating the army for vandal because vandal savage Basically, that's what he does. He travels through time, gathers up a group of people to join his cause to take over everything. So I would like to think that Damien is doing all his stuff to prepare for this whole entire siege of, of whatever it is they're trying to take over. You're close, but what if uh, Damien Dark is doing his thing? Yeah. Maybe that nifty poor or that device he has or that blueprint With creates, the stuff? Yeah, creates like some form of rift or time and device. it brings them through and vandal savage shows up and be like hey Let's like team what up. you doing come with me if you want to leave <laughs> he takes all his ghosts with him and then like it's like a whole like party yeah and then and that's... totally leaves uh oliver queen in the dark oh man no need to throw shade <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. and uh, dude i don't know why but he looked like he looked almost exactly like lance the guy that's portraying vandal yeah that's what we're gonna be getting in about two weeks you could say he was his shadow <laughs> so you guys uh you guys excited i is i'm super excited, excited. What do you? That's pretty much our theories, right? For what's to come. Yeah. Because we can't. So, and then, and then they have their all little Justice League. They got Green Arrow, Red Arrow, or Speedy, the Flash, Adam, Black Driver. Yeah. Uh, Don't forget about him and the Chief. Black Canary. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Black Double, Driver and oh, the Chief. we might see double Black Canaries. Well, may, maybe White Canary. Well, uh, we'll see. Then if we got Hawk Girl, Hawk Man. Yeah. That's quite a team. Three quite baddies. a league, I guess you could say. And they're gonna have to go up against uh, something, something bad. What do you guys uh, rate this episode? I give it infinite mass punch out of infinity. I'm just gonna use a viewer one here, you know, just incorporate it in my own. Just gonna give this one a banana drama rama. I give this five apple pies out of five. Five apple pies. Ape. Out of all the things, ape. You could have said banana bread. Ape. You said ape ape pull pies yeah i know i i get i get i get, <laughs> I, get I get the joke i'm saying out of all the the foods you went for apple pie when you could have said banana bread um this one so do you want yeah you want to read well pie. read one bears and read who the name is yeah. your average i'm not says this episode zoomed by <laughs> <laughs> one more one more for good measure uh trevor Alvo avalos says life moves fast better catch up barry <laughs> uh, you guys got any final thoughts? What your overall thoughts for this episode? Well, sum it up in one word. Yeah. Show number one. <laughs> that's a, that's a good um, one. Oh, you know we'd be excited for this? Golden Glider. Okay, uh -oh. I'm gonna close it up with a joke. Okay. All right. Before we say bye. Why did the banana go to see the doctor? Why? why? The banana wasn't peeling well. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, please be sure to leave your comments down below and leave your banana-based puns down in the comments. Or any like puns. It. Any puns related yes. to this episode or this show. Leave it in the comments below. We'll choose a few for next week. Um, be sure to check out Bear's channel. We've got Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. over there. And yeah... Check out their music. Social links in the comments. Or not comments, but down below. <laughs> in those places down there. It's somewhere down there. There's yeah. stuff you gotta click to find it. Yeah. And hey no, guys. Oh. No, oh. not yet. <laughs> one more. It's one more. Go ahead. What kind of key doesn't open a door? Uh, what? Uh, what? A monkey. <laughs> oh my <laughs> Be sure to check out all our stuff in the movie files. We have every episode we ever or we've been recapping on there. Uh, Flash, In Sealed, uh, Arrow, Supergirl, everything is going to be on there. And you can find the links to the videos as well. So, that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm peeling out. How dare you. <laughs> <laughs>